I hate it when I make a video and then I think, oh, I should have been recording all that. Instead of just thinking about it. So I started in the usual, you know, hello YouTube. <laughs> well, this video might go out to the whole world. So, hello world. And then I was going to make a point about, um, you know, for those people who just tuning in to hear the the crucial crunch point of what is coming um, right uh, what is coming is um, fuck off right you're not ready okay you're not ready so go away listen to a lot of other stuff from mine divine truth before you're ready to hear this right otherwise you just deny it anyway and I'm not making videos here for people to deny I'm making this video for people who are ready and I know there are lots so there's no problem and I'm not going to give it to you as kind of bluntly as I've taken it on because Obviously I've got to a certain stage of understanding and feeling and more understanding that it wasn't, you know, a massive issue for me to feel it. Okay, so um, that's the kettle boiling there and once, for once and only time I'm going to disable comments on this video. Um, it's mainly because I don't want people to um, tell people whereabouts <laughs> I say the crucial crunch point of this video. So just bear with me a sec, I'm just going to go and pour the boiling kettle into the pot. Yeah, it's going to be a long one, uh, but you don't know when I'm going to say it, and you can skip and, you know, hopefully I won't have left any clues. I might just say it now, quickly, ooh, uh, you see, you don't know. I might just quickly pop it out. Da -da! -da -da. Bum -da -dum -dum. Um, it's no joking matter, actually, but then again... It's not really something to get too heavy about either. In fact, in fact, it's wonderful, marvellous. It's the best. Like, I knew, like, when I finally figured out what was coming, I knew it'd be a surprise. And it wasn't... Okay, it's never been, it's not something that's never been mentioned. There's a clue. But, well. Whew, whew. So, I don't mean to joke. I don't mean to joke. Let me just double check, this is recording. No, oh yeah, <laughs> there it is. <laughs> can see it. <coughs> I don't think you're going to ask me why I still smoke after this. Or you might. And I might ask myself the same question. Tobacco, anyway. Let's talk about generational injuries. Hopefully those of you hanging on have maybe heard something about this or have an idea of what it might be. Um, from Adam and Eve and all the others. Right. I got a clue actually from one of the other Gospels. I think it was Mary's, but it might not have been. But Jesus said something 
Oh yeah, it was in Mary. Peter asked Jesus what is world, worldly sin. And I think he was referring to here the sin of Adam and Eve and Cain and all, you know, that generational sin that's kind of continually gone on. And he says it doesn't exist until it's acted upon. So, in a sense, if you took a picture of your soul, you know, say the way A.J. Miller draws it, and you, you, you imagine these injuries within the soul. Now, that is true of the things that you've done. You, it will have created injuries that you need to feel to get better, for your soul to be better. But the generational injuries, they're more like continual attacks from outside, upon the exterior. And if we're open to them, then they can get into us and cause us to do something. So there is no curing of generational injuries. And that's possibly why, you know, your environment can change depending on where you're going. But seeing as most people on the planet have this feeling that they don't need God, It's a problem because that is the fact of it, that's the truth. We need God. The anal best analogy is we are a baby with still with the umbilical cord, in fact, unborn, and that is what we're getting to. The earth is going to be born again. with all us on it, and all the spirits still earthbound. Don't know about spirits in the spirit world. Here's the thing about spirits. All, I think all the experiences of spirits I've had where I've had some communication, where I've done it myself, it's all, I think, been misleading, most of it. The real stuff, the stuff where I've genuinely just had a feeling, and I'd say that with my dad, and I'd say that with Jesus' soul, with God, obviously, St. Francis' soul, my granddad's, my son's, and probably all my family and, and friends as well, and soulmate. And I'm, now I've just included it into what it is, because what we all are is soul. Half a soul. God is a fool. I cough a lot because I smoke. Tar builds up in my lungs, and I cough it up, and I'm fine. It's um, maybe even cleanses my lungs from pollution. How many times have I said, "God is coming," and lots of other people? We all know it deep in our hearts. And we'll all see it round December time, I feel, and I think it will happen May, June 2016. So, we've got nearly a year. Um, if this video is taken on, um, it would be some time to prepare. Prepare your mind. Best way to prepare is to get the truth. Start feeling the truth. Repent for the wrong things you've done. Forgive others for the things they've done. Put yourself in their shoes. We've been born into an imperfect world. This is the history of the human race.
six thousand years God shortened the days it would have taken a lot longer the things that God did to shorten the days like Cain and Lamech with the eyes Jesus and me maybe maybe me <laughs> we yet to see and so here we are interestingly is it the Jewish year 5776 because that is a divine number if you start with 1.618 and multiply that by 1.618 where is it over and over again you can see that we've got Five 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 seven seven five point eight one five, and that is number one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen, which is also a divine number. Seventeen point nine four two, which is the one two three four five sixth. Whatever that means. I don't know no numerology properly. I know it's adding up of words and getting numbers. I don't get it. I did this YouTube comment on Paul Begley's um, YouTube channel. Someone called Elm Elm, who I haven't been able to find, did this comment. Stephen, seven of nine, seven of nine. All we need now is two witnesses. O O O Xmas, and then it got taken down. Whether she took it down, but she spelt my name wrong. She spelt it with a V. It's a PH. So I don't know. Whether. And then Stephen, with a PH, has got seven letters, but I don't know if that's what it meant, seven of nine, or not, or whether there's some way of adding up the numbers. But it. It was nice for me to get that comment. I saw it. It was just like a little like confirmation that someone's it's triggered someone on some on something. If you'd be triggered, be glad because it's progression. The reason we don't feel is, oh, by the way, what I was saying about generational in injuries. So because these generational injuries, they're not permanently on you. They're kind of just in the air, affecting you. And because you're open to them. So when you get the truth, you can stop feeling them. I got the feeling earlier, the reason I'm saying I know what's going to happen, I was in the bath, and I like, had this realisation of what's going to happen, and then this memory of young age, kind of knowing this. So... I'd sort of got this information from God at a young age. I must have asked, my mind must have asked, what's going to happen? And I know it's part of my purpose to to tell you what's going to happen. And it's quite possible that I'm going to be the one who's most eager <laughs> for this. And so we'll perhaps lead into this. <clears throat> I'm sorry. <laughs> it's going to take a bit longer than that. And um, if you've skipped on, I've already told 
I don't like lying. I was just lying then. That was horrible. I'm not going to lie. Don't make me lie. I'm not here to annoy you. Like I say, I don't want to say this to someone who's just going to deny it. It's a point. You've got to be ready to feel it. Feeling why we're so reluctant. We're there on the verge of it, the edge of it. Sometimes, when it comes on quick, that's, that's probably the best time to get over and done with. Because the one that you've been building up probably is going to be the worst. I'm pretty... The hardest is the first one. Because you've had, after the first one, you've had some practice. And you think it's going to get stronger. And then it definitely tails off. You, you, you work with the worst of it first. The first, the first chunk you do, you will have done, done the worst. You'd have been through the worst. The next bit is going to be harder. Everyone's got different personalities. We're all unique souls. So we're all going to have different ways. Me, I'm a very 100 miles an hour into it and then whack into an obstacle and I get stuck for a while and then clamber on past that. And I am trying to learn to sort of steer and go moderately. Decent speed. I like decent speed. Yeah. The other reason I'm so reluctant to say this is because to encapsulate it in what it is with the current belief system we have on this planet is going to sound horrific. <coughs> And that is why it's eluded um, people like AJ and spirits, spiritual people, because every medium is a filter. So if it's something that that person just wouldn't be able to take on, then they wouldn't have received it. They wouldn't have known. And it's why we've got some people saying it's a meteorite, some people saying it's a big earthquake, some people saying it's... what's the other one? We are eternal souls. A half an eternal soul. So that thousands, millions of years in the future, you and the other half of your soul are going to have one consciousness. One. Boom. I'm going to be as one. That is how strong the connection is with your soulmate. And we're going to be androgynous and um <coughs> and that is why we feel like we need someone if we think about eternity and then on our own or something you know but it's very comforting to know that well, the, f the feeling when your soul is together is amazing. You feel so good. God is coming.
in the form of what we'd scientifically call a black hole. Say it one more time, black hole. So, but we will be fine. And if you start going towards it, go with it. I'm going to. If I can jump up to it, I'll go for it. Okay. I kind of see it as two things. First I saw it as how we're going to see this thing come towards us. <laughs> because <coughs> it's dark but it's gonna warp things I suppose it's gonna be different and it could very much look like a birth canal so in some way we're we've got to this point in humanity where we've we understand what's wrong. We know what's unloving. We know we don't want it. Haven't we? We've come to that stage where we know we don't want it. So, for real people, with real lives, loving people, you do not need to fear. Okay? We'll... You'll just be fine. And what's on the other side is a new earth. You'll probably be a new body. I don't know. <laughs> but we'll be fine. God is looking after us all the time. Just realised I'm sitting like this. <laughs> God is looking after us all the time. So there's no need to fear. Um, the fact that you're not falling through space is because of God. So it's going to be it's going to be quite well we'll have to wait and see what it's going to be like. So if you're watching this video what you should do is help people prepare by Talking about God, talking about, you know, death, because we all know we we're going to die. I'm saying you're going to die, but you might. Fear could. But the, the actual process of going through it um, won't kill us. It'd be, you know, it's going to be cool. It's going to be awesome. The other side is going to be awesome. Don't you want to be happy? <coughs> and, and not want to do shit like this? Smoke and drink wine. Coffee and having to have all these things and having to go to work and wanting to retire and one in the big house and having a mortgage and paying bills, driving the car, shouting at the kids, because the kids are in a better condition than you, and you know it, so it knocks you. I 
I do. I definitely do. So will I give up smoking? <laughs> Inevitably, yes. <laughs> Some I'm getting to hate them more as well. Don't start smoking, probably. Actually, and I've noticed the last few days, oh, lovely fresh air. So really, when there's fresh air, I shouldn't smoke. Naughty, naughty. Okay? Naughty me. But if you are going to smoke, buy, like, um, you know, natural tobacco. That or... That. <laughs> I'm not getting money for advertising, I promise. I don't agree with these electronic cigarettes. Something dodgy about them. If you can't quit, just accept that and smoke. And maybe by taking a layer of tar on your lungs and having to cough that up quite often, maybe that is not that unhealthy. And cigarettes do pacify me. I I get angry at concrete. <laughs> I hate concrete. Now I realise what's going to happen. It doesn't matter. <laughs> Much. Well, it might matter. I mean, I guess it will still be the earth. So, yeah, and I did say the only thing that survive are the roots. Maybe the roots will. Roots. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know, look, we, like I said, what is scientifically called, we don't really know, do we? But I imagine the, the gravitational force on it is very strong, and that's why they've picked it up. And why we can't see it, that's why we can't see it. And um, it's been a huge cover-up. Um, as we know, and this is why. Perhaps they were there for wise to cover it up and actually think fair enough they well uh, I don't know perhaps you know they didn't want to say anything until they knew more about it that was the hope and um son <laughs> no wonder they're cranking that up it's obviously some sort of way they're trying to figure out if they can can defend us from this <laughs> think, oh if it's going to go anyway we might as well try and see if we can blow up the world ourselves before we get there so I was thinking probably oh it's going to be aliens and they're going to take over our brains and we're going to be harvested <laughs> nah It's God, baby. God is coming. How long has this been? I think I've said everything I want to say. <coughs> but let me just think first, in case it's something I missed. And if I do all the video in a one-parter, I don't have to put it into a little video software and put the parts together and then say create video and it comes out all blurry and shit and then upload that and just upload this <laughs> anyway let's you know let's talk about truth and love on the internet let's um let's get people more loving in a more happy state because that is going to make it easier, I would say. Um, if it's like a God cleansing, it's going to cleanse the earth and everything, then it's going to be um, getting rid of all the bad stuff. There won't be any of these generational injuries in the air saying, you don't need God and stuff like that. Oh, it's going to be so good. And it, you know, humanity has been getting better. We have been getting more loving. 
probably not. I think we'd be getting less wise, more ignorant. I think that's true, generally. But no, that's, it's all getting better. It is. And it will continue to get better. And there doesn't have to be a doom, but I did also see mushroom clouds. That seems that's going to happen. So if you find yourself in that situation, as I might, get blown up, just know that, you know, you, I'd stick around and watch. <laughs> I would. Because it's so close. So I would probably just stay earthbound and watch. I think. I don't know. I don't know. Hopefully I don't want to die. Before. I want to see it. I want to see it. Um, so yeah, there is lots to do. Lots to prepare for. Remember every part of your life. You know, if you've never done this exercise before, go back, you know, as you get lying in bed, you know, maybe you go back ten years a night, something like that. And if something triggers you to make you want to cry, cry. If something triggers you to make you feel scared, just allow the feeling. You don't need to move your body at all, you can lay completely still. Just allow it all and have love in your heart and believe that Mother, Father, God is looking after you. I am the Christ of this generation. God has chosen me. helped me to be able to feel God so that I would be able to communicate to you. So this is a message from God. So God has always been coming and we could have been alerted earlier. We could have had more time to prepare. God has been as steady as anything and God always loves you immediately forgives you if you do anything wrong you just have to be able to forgive yourself love yourself because we are eternal beings and we've got a long life ahead of us a long long way in the future this Messiah Christ stuff will all be probably forgotten and we've got eternity to get to know all each other brothers and sisters and love is the answer and the way and for the moment we've got to learn from our mother and father use your free will to want to do God's will because We've been saying we don't need God for 6,000 years. And look how quickly we've done ourselves in. We need God to teach us. The first lesson is... I'll tell you the first one. Feel love. Respond with love. Feel anything. Respond with love. On a feeling level. It's how the soul grows. Everything is made of love. God made our universe out of love. His, her love. If it weren't for that, we'd just be falling through space. Is here so that we could experience things that would trigger emotions and make us feel, start to understand what we are. We are that soul. And you're not alone. Because the other half of that soul is out there somewhere. 
and you'll be you'll come together when when you progress towards God and on the path that will bring you closer to your soulmate. And probably by the time that you realise who you are and your purpose and everything, then that's probably when you'll meet your soulmate. As that's what's happened with me. And all this carries on. And yeah, we need to eat. But we don't need to eat as much. We don't need to eat as much. We need to drink. To collect water. Rainwater. I've been drinking the rainwater for three years now. So it's okay. Keep drinking it. Unless it turns milky because of nuclear fallout. Don't drink it then. So we may have some endurance to do. But, um, let's see. Love everyone. Love God. Love yourself. Is there anything I haven't said? Yeah, grow your beard. <laughs> grow your hair. Women, grow your armpit hair. Just let it grow. Women, don't try and be masculine. That makes moustache hairs grow. Beard hair. Be you. Be what you want to be. Don't be what people expect you to be. That applies to everyone. I'm not talking just women. I think... You know, women are amazing, and I'm wanting to get to know that feminine side more. And that's that's something we should all delve in. Let's go inside now. Science has yet again proved that <laughs> they can't understand it all. They just find another level. And, uh, yeah, that'll do. Don't fear. Fear is your friend in a way. Fear can help guide you. But feel it. Feel everything. Allow everything. I don't know. Just go with it. Just do it. Just, ah! Just, oh! Just, ee! Just, <laughs> um, did I say I was going to disallow comments? Yeah, I'm, I'm going to do that, I'm afraid. Um, if you want to make a comment, just... Um, comment on another video. But don't mention what I said. Because these things are best left let out gently. 